male reproductive system is part of human reproduction as we know human beings are unisexual means in 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 a human being either male reproductive system or female reproductive system can be found now coming to the location of male reproductive system male reproductive system is located in the pelvic region as we can see in this image this is the pelvic region male reproductive system is located in the pelvic region now coming to the paths of male reproductive system following are the paths of male reproductive system testis next one accessory ducts third one glands and fourth one external genitalia now as you can see in the first image this is the testis shown in orange reddish orange color this is the testis accessory ducts i'll discuss later glands and also external genitalia actually penis is considered as external genitalia these are the parts i will discuss in detail later now coming to information about testis testis as you can see in the image it is now location of testis what where is it located it is located outside and below the abdominal cavity in a pouch like structure called scrotum so the see here it's shown scrotum so the pouch like structure in which testis is stored or the testis is covered by a pouch like structure which is known as scrotum now why we can ask we can uh, means this question can be asked why why scrotum carries testis or why testis is located outside the body in scrotum the answer is scrotum can maintain temperature lower than our body up to 2.5 degree c this helps in spermatogenesis that is production of sperm now next point shape of testis first let me write shape shape of testis shape is oval oval now coming to length of testis length is 4 to 
five centimeters and width is two to three centimeters. Now coming to paths of testis. And it is also uh, covered by thick covering that is hair like structure as you can say. Paths first one is consist of 250 compartments called testicular lobules. Each lobule contain one, two, three means not one, two, three, one, two, three highly coiled structure called Semini, seminal, seminiferous, seminiferous tubules. So the first part is 250 compartments called testicular lobules and the second part is each testicular lobule contain one to three highly coiled structure which are called seminiferous tubule. Okay, so let me show you. Seminiferous, this is the testicular lobule, as you can see in this image. Testicular lobule, and seminiferous tubule is actually not shown in this image. Now, coming to the next part. This seminiferous tubules consist of two types of cells inside the so you can say it's part of it so we'll write like this inner wall is lined with two types of cells interstitial cells or lay lay dig cells this is one type sorry uh, sorry this is not number one is male germ cells male germ cells and number two Sertoli cells as you can see in this image it is diagramic uh, representation of the uh, this is seminiferous tubule inside that you can see Sertoli cells also interstitial cells and spermatogonia that is male germ cell these are the Sertoli cells spermatogonia is male germ cell and interstitial cells that I will discuss next part so inner wall. Now coming to function of male germ cell. So I'll write like this. Function of male germ cell is they undergo meiosis and produce obviously sperm. And Sertoli cells they produce the nutrition. They provide the nutrition for the for the uh, sperm so male germ cell also called spermatogonia as I said function they undergo meiosis to provide or produce sperm sperm cells now what is the function of Sertoli cells these Sertoli cells their function is provide nutrition provide nutrition to the sperm cells now coming to the next part 
where are these interstitial cells or leydig cells are located they are located outside the seminiferous not the seminiferous tubule sorry they are located at the outer part of seminiferous tubule in in our world sertoli cells and male germ cells outer part of uh, the these two types consist of interstitial cells dark pink this part these are the interstitial cells these part okay so uh, now function of interstitial cells location of inter interstitial or leydig cells outside means outside the spermatogonia and sertoli cells now coming to the function function synthesize and produce synthesize and produce or secrete secrete testicular hormone that is androgen now coming to the next part as you can see accessory ducts sorry not this one in the first page you can see the accessory ducts okay so accessory ducts as i i'll just show four accessory ducts are there in this second image you can see reta testis is one i'll show the locations also first one is reta testis then vasa efferentia epididymis and vas deferens these four are collectively called accessory ducts or you can say in male reproductive system four accessory ducts are present so four accessory ducts present in male reproductive system are number 1 rete testis number 2 vasa efferen efferentia number 3 epididymis and number 4 vas efferens now coming to the location of each one and how each of it, these are connected as again we'll go back to page 1 as you can see in this page that uh, rete testis this one second one rete testis joins seminiferous tubule with vasa efferentia it acts as connecting part in between vasa efferentia and rete uh, sem sorry seminiferous tubule then vasa efferentia further it uh, comes out of the testis and it uh, connects itself with epididymis and it uh, goes parallel it uh, goes parallel to the each testis and it uh, along the posterior surface that is the back side then coming to epididymis it leads to vasa efferens that ascends to the abdomen and loops over to urinary bladder as we can see in this image this is uh, vas <coughs> sorry difference vas difference it connects itself with this part urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder as you can see and uh, it yes it loops loops over to urinary bladder then it receives a duct from seminal vesicle which is a, a, gl a gland and it opens into urethra as ejaculatory duct ejaculatory means which secretes or releases semen now these ducts function function of these ducts they store 
and transport sperm from testis to outside through urethra the urethra originates from urinary bladder and extends through penis to the external opening this opening is called urethral meatus now moving on to the external genitalia so what is called external genitalia in the first uh, while uh, talking about the parts parts only i said penis is known as external genitalia penis is called external genitalia as you can see penis it is uh, present outside the body and what are the parts of penis actually it has uh, the protrude protruded or bulbous st uh, structure at the end of it or you can say at the tip the uh, structure is called glans penis so coming to the enlarged end that is gland penis and it is covered by loose fold of skin called foreskin now function it is made up of special tissues which helps in erection of penis to face facilitate insemination now what is insemination insemination is the process of produ production and release of semen semen which carries sperm now coming to the accessory glands in this only you can see seminiferous seminal vesicle okay seminiferous tubule is an accessory duct now seminal vesicle is a type of gland this is seminal vesicle as you can see and also here other two yes bulbo urethral gland and prostate gland prostate this is prostate okay so three types of glands are there prostate that is single prostate gland seminal vesicle and bulbo urethral gland a pair of seminal vesicle a pair of bulbo urethral gland is present whereas prostate is a single gland now what are the roles of it roles of these glands they secrete seminal plasma okay which is rich in fructose calcium and certain enzymes so they provide nutrition for sperm and the secretion from bulbo urethral gland also helps in lubrication of penis so function of bulbo urethral gland is to secrete lubri secrete uh, um, what to say secrete uh, lubricating thing uh, for the penis and um, seminal plasma secreted by seminal vesicle and prostate which are rich in fructose and calcium and certain enzymes which help in the nutrition of sperm 